over here. My name is Marina, and I we do mobile home living on a budget. You guys want to know how you spell we? S H A N E. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my <laughs> this is like the this is the second time I've had to record this, and I'm gonna have to do it a third time because camera. Hey y'all! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marina. Today's video... You're not gonna introduce me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm only like 80% of this channel. This is, listen here. 80% is a 80%, lot. 80%, yep. Yeah. Okay, so... I'm awesomely created. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this is mischievously yeah. created. <laughs> yeah, this is mischievously. You wanna say hi, hi. Cammy? Say hello. Hi. Hi. Love <laughs> <laughs> you. Okay. Uh. Go play. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Wait. Red. What? <laughs> so I was originally this week. I was, I was originally. Sound this. like Chava. He's all on new hall. Okay, so this week I was originally going to add more cabinet space to our kitchen, but <laughs> we ran into a few hiccups and we couldn't get the dimensions that I wanted. Lowe's didn't have them, so something she doesn't know is we're going to make custom cabinets soon and. <laughs> And I'm going to share that with you guys. But for today, since we can't do that, we're going to ship lap our kitchen wall. We're going to do it a super budget friendly way and use vinyl peel and stick planks. So I do want to let you know that this video is in collaboration with my friend Rebecca. Her channel is right here. She recently bought a mobile home for a steal, like an amazing price. She is documenting on her channel, her making over the entire thing. It is insane. It's awesome. It's blowing up. So be sure to go check out her video. It'll be linked down in the description box below. If you're new here from her channel, hey, what's up? My name is Marina. I'm a mom to four. We do mobile home living on an extreme budget in Tennessee. We bought this mobile home a few years ago. It was a 2014 and it was used. And whoever lived in this had pets. And they were not your puppies and kittens. They were rats. They were horses. <laughs> and, and Elk. There were, the floors were falling through. Mooses the size of houses. <laughs> The floors were falling through, there was holes in the walls, the roof was leaking, the, the roof was cracked, it's, it was not in good condition. Think about it, we bought it in 2016, that's two years after it was manufactured, and it was, it was dookie. So without further ado, let's get to making over this so wall. So we are only doing the wall behind the refrigerator and above the cabinets, because as of right now, I don't know what I want to do between the cabinets so we are just doing that today and then hopefully sometime this week you guys will see what we decide to do with the other part of the kitchen Freaking me out right now. In? I don't know. <laughs> like, what are the odds of hitting that directly with the screw? Oh, are you putting the insulation back in there? <laughs> I'm saving on energy. <laughs> Turn off the lights. We're gonna sit and look in the dark. Wait, are we? We're taking this off, right? What? This. Why? So it'll uh, adhere to the wall. Adhere to the wall? 
What does that even mean? <laughs> or do we need to take this off? I don't think we do. Are you sure? No. Cause you, oh, because you're nailing it? Yeah. And Ow, Shane. Oh, I get what you're saying, because it might stick to the wall. Oh, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. So, yeah, we might want to take it off. Yeah! Yeah, make it in here! Make it in here. <laughs> Ah! Look at that. She a wallpaper woman. She a ponder woman. Stay away from her. Alright, so do you know how to do this? Because I know how to do this. If you don't know, I laid my whole floor by myself. The flooring that I got this time isn't like my flooring flooring so I get asked a lot what kind of flooring I use throughout Marie, the house. what kind of flooring do you use? Well it's funny you should ask. <laughs> I use the Treadmaster uh, brand from Home Depot in the color Top Oak. Top. 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 This is not Treadmaster and as you can see it is much thinner than the Treadmaster. This is the select brand from Lowe's so it's a lot thinner but I really wanted this dark because you guys know I'm crazy about Dark accent <laughs> walls. <laughs> Nobody told me to settle down. Day nights and late nights don't get around. But there's something about you. Something about you I like. About you I like. This project was way harder than what I thought it was originally going to be. Um, we were suggested by someone who had done this previously to get these um, particular nails. They're like panel nails. Nope, those didn't work, not at all. I would suggest, if anything, just to buy extra adhesive because they sell the adhesive separately. I'd buy that and put it up there. If you don't want that because it's more of a permanent thing, um, I maybe screws, a nail gun possibly, but don't try hammering nails into this stuff. It just don't work. <laughs> nails and everything aside, the worst part about dealing with this type of flooring is scoring the plank with a box cutter. Definitely, I would suggest a vinyl cutter. I've seen those. I don't have them. I usually always use a box cutter, and it always kills my fingers. I get too drunk and too scared and lie. Hurry, I'm gonna password? lose the What's adhesive. The You're gonna lose the adhesive. What's the password? We're gonna lose the What's adhesive. What's the password? Here you go. What's the password? What's the password, Marina? What's the password? That's not the password. What's the password? Tell me what. That's not the password. So here's the tricky part. You have to. It sucks. I know measuring around the vents when I did the floor, it it sucked. This part sucks even worse. We also had to take. You probably saw we had to take out the battens. We had to take those off. That's not, you just wedge something under there. That's not super difficult. But this, yeah, this part's complicating. My original goal was to take off this backsplash um, like I did in my bathroom. It wasn't demoing like what the bathroom did. <laughs> um, not cooperating. Yeah, it definitely wasn't cooperating seeing as I literally nailed a butter knife into my wall. <laughs> the reason we decided to just do behind the fridge today is because we knew it was going to be a pretty big job, but we still didn't know it was going to be this big of a job. 
But that's the reason we chose to just do that. Also, I'm not sure what I'm doing between the cabinets right now. The upper cabinets and the lower cabinets. I may be doing the shiplap, the faux shiplap there. Or I might be doing some backsplash if I find that I lot. If I find something that I like better, then I may be doing backsplash. But that's why I I'm not even fiddle farting <laughs> with that between the two cabinets. Because I don't know what we're doing there yet. So if you're wondering why we're just doing behind the um fridge and up there i know it looks weird right now but trust me i always have a plan and i always make so it this work this is what it looks like so far it is looking amazing my fridge is nasty <laughs> but it's looking so good so good I don't know what I want to do down here yet. I'm thinking I'm going to continue on with this on throughout there. I just, I'm really loving that. I left it alone because I thought I might get a backsplash similar to that. I hate that backsplash though. So I want to get that all out. Well, I tried to get it out. Y'all saw I hammered a knife into the wall. <laughs> um, so, so while Shane's going to work tomorrow, I may get a wild hair and start demoing that. I demoed it in my bathroom and it was okay. So if I do, I'll, I'll bring you guys along with me, whatever I choose to do. I hate ending a video unfinished, but I mean, it is finished. The part that I want to do is finished. It's just, it looks unfinished because you know, this right here. It'll definitely be sometime this week, so I'll call this a part one. Like I said, I hate doing that. I don't like ending something when it feels unfinished. Even though it's finished, even though Shane finished what I wanted to finish, it still looks unfinished. So I don't like that, but I know you guys don't mind waiting, and I love you guys for that. So this week sometime you will see what happens to this wall, and I'm pretty excited about it. Look how pretty that looks. Look how pretty that looks. I'm loving it. All right, y'all, don't forget to go check out my friend's video. I will see y'all tomorrow. I hope you have a blessed morning, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you are at. Jesus loves you. I love you, too. Thank you guys so much for being the best friend in the whole entire world. I'll see you tomorrow.